נשב על המרפסת ונספור ציפורים נודדות. ילדים בחופשה ישחקו טוב פסל בין הבית לבין השדות. עוד תראה, עוד תראה כמה טוב יהיה בשנה, בשנה הבאה. sing together and the distance will just disappear and the children will smile in a world that's gotten better so let's bring in a healthy new year wait and see wait and see what a world there can be and we know that there's always tomorrow oh dear oh dear come I told me Shana haba, shana haba, nifros kapot yadahim mul haor hanigar halava. Anafa levana, tifros kaor knafahim vehashem esh tizraf betoch. Lashana Tova to all of you. My name is Andrew Berman, and I have the honor and privilege of serving as the chairman of the Board of Directors of Los Angeles Jewish Home. This is the most unique and different of high holidays. We are in the midst of a global pandemic, and it has changed our lives as we know them. Although we remain apart, our hearts are one. Although we are apart, we are together in our minds and spirit. And although we are apart, we still remain, first and foremost, a strong, connected, and thriving community. With great challenges come opportunity. With adversity comes triumph. And with such a strong sense of community, such as ours at the Los Angeles Jewish Home, we have, we can, and we will endure and be stronger than ever. As chair of the board, I have the great honor of serving this organization and all of you. May this new year bring you health, hope, happiness, love, kindness, and bring us closer to the end of this crisis and shine a bright light on everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much, Andrew Berman, for your inspiring words, for all of your leadership that keeps us going all year round, but especially for being with us tonight. It really means the world to all of us. My great pleasure. Really, it is an honor and a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for asking me. And Happy New Year to all. Shabbat Tova, everyone. I'm Rabbi Karen Bender, and I'm so excited to be here with you to celebrate this wonderful holiday of Rosh Hashanah. I'm joined today by my wonderful colleague, Rabbi Ron Goldberg, and we're so excited to be doing this holiday together. We never get to be together in Rosh Hashanah, mm -hmm. but tonight we are. We're also so happy to welcome uh, a dear friend to all of us, Benzie Kogan, who will be our cantor, not just tonight, but throughout the holiday. So Rabbi Ron and I are ready with, uh, with everything we need uh, for this welcome. evening. First of all, even though we know we're not allowed to blow the shofar on Shabbat, so we won't be blowing the shofar until Sunday, the second day of Rosh Hashanah. We do have our shofars here with us. Do you have yours with you, Ron? I do. Rabbi? I do. We have yeah, it. There, you got it. I actually have two. I have, um, I've got a little one as well. I've got this little one, and I've got the big one, too. Nice. Very dedicated 
nice. uh, sheep or goats <laughs> that uh, made these uh, shofar up for us. Um, I also have apples and honey. Do you have apples and honey, Rabbi? I am set. I have apples and I've got honey. All right. I, I, do, I do too. I've got an apple. I've got honey. And as a matter of fact, okay, this is going to knock your socks off, everyone. I have got an industrial size jug of honey because oh, wow. Wow. we are a large organization and we have many, many people who need apples and honey uh, today and this weekend. And so we've got it all. Wow. I also have my Kiddush cup, of course, as we always would uh, on Shabbat, which it is tonight, and on Rosh Hashanah, which it is tonight. And finally, I have the candlesticks. And we're going to begin by oh. making the blessing over the candles, which begins the Chag uh, for all of us together. And you are more than welcome to join me. Remember, we stay Shel Shabbat Veshel Yom Tov. The holiday is for the Sabbath and the holiday. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kitsharu B'mitzvotahav, Vetzihifahanu, Lehahad Bikner, Lehahad Bikner, Shel Shabbat Veshel Yom Tov. Amen. And now, because it's the first night, we are going to recite the Shachianu as well with a melody uh, written and composed by Kol Beseder. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Shachianu b'kiyamanu v'higianu v'zman hazeh Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Shechianu v'kimanu v'higianu l'zman hazeh Ah, 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 amen Ah, 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 amen. We're going to continue with the singing of Matovu. How good are your tents, O Jacob, your dwelling places, O Israel. Matovu, O Halecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Yisrael. Matovu, O Halecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Yisrael, Matovu, O Alecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Yisrael. We greet the new year, eternal God, as the new year begins, we have come together to pray as a congregation. Each of us is extremely solitary in your presence. Each of us comes before you with special hopes and dreams. Each of us has personal worries and concerns. Each of us has a prayer no one else can utter. Each of us brings praise no one else can offer. Each of us feels a joy no one else can share. And each of us has regrets which others cannot know. And so, if we pray, if we are weary, give us strength. If we are discouraged, give us hope. If we have forgotten how to pray, remind us. If we have been careless of time, forgive us. If our hearts have been chilled by indifference, warm them with your mercy and inspire us with the glowing spirit of this holy night. My friends, we welcome in 5781, the new year, Shana Tova. We begin with the call to prayer, the Baruch Hu, our friend Benzi Kogan. And the Baruch Hu is 
begins a uh, an enchanting melody that takes us all the way through this Ma'ariv service. It's familiar to all of us. Let's give a listen and we'll be captivated by the melody. Ah, 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 Et Adonai HaMevorach Baruch Adonai HaMevorach Le'olam Vayet Praised are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, whose word brings on the dusk of the evening. Your wisdom opens the gates of dawn. Your understanding regulates time and seasons. The stars above follow their appointed rounds in response to your divine will. You create day and night. You alternate darkness and light. You remove the day and bring on the night. You separate one from the other. We call you Lord of heavenly hosts. You are our living God. May you rule over us as you rule over nature. Praise to you, O Lord, who brings on the dusk of the evening. Umavir yom, umavir laila, umavdil ben yom, umavir laila, Adonai tzvaot shemo, el chai v'kayam, tamidim lo chaleinu leolam vayet, baruch ata Adonai, amari v'aravi, Amen. With everlasting love, you have loved your people Israel, teaching us the Torah and its mitzvot, instructing us in its laws and judgments. Therefore, Adonai, our God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we shall speak of your commandments and rejoice in your Torah and your mitzvot. For they are our life and the length of our days. On them we will meditate day and night. May your love never depart from us. Baruch atah Adonai, praised are you, Adonai, who loves your people, Israel. Ki em chayenu ve'orech yameinu u'vahem negei yomam v'alayla ve'avadcha al tasir mimenu le'olamim Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Amen. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Ve'ahavta <laughs> Ukstartam leot al yadecha, the Hayulatotafot in a necha, Uchtaftam, al Mizuzot betecha, Ubi sharecha. Hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. You shall take to heart these words which I command you this day. You shall teach them diligently to your children, speaking of them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise up. You shall bind them as a sign upon your arms and they shall be a symbol before your eyes. You shall inscribe them on the doorposts of your homes and on your gates. 
We're going to continue our service now with the Hashki Venu. And I love the Hashki Venu because it's this beautiful image of being tucked in in the evening. This idea that we should be able to fall asleep with peace, knowing that God is watching over us. Help us, O God, to lie down in peace and awaken us to life on the morrow. May we always be guided by your good counsel and thus find shelter in your tent of peace. Shield us, we pray, against our foes, against plague, destruction, and sorrow. Strengthen us against the evil forces, which abound on every side. May we always sense your care, for you are our merciful sovereign. Guard us always and everywhere. Bless us with life and with peace. Praise to you, O God of peace, whose love is always with us. Who shelters your people, Israel, and protects Jerusalem in love. Ufrosaleinu, sukach lomecha, baruch ata Adonai, apore sukach shalom, aleinu ve'al kol amo Yisrael, ve'al Yerushalayim. As Rabbi Bender said a few minutes ago, not only is it Rosh Hashanah, it is, of course, Shabbat. And because it's Shabbat, we add in the Vishamru song and blessing. The sign of the Shabbat is that link between the children of Israel and Adonai, Vishamru. Vishamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat la-asot et ha-Shabbat le-dorot ha-berit olam b'nei v'nei Yisrael oti le-olam oti le-olam oti le-olam Veshamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat la-asot et ha-Shabbat le-dorotam berit olam. Ki sheshet yamim asa Adonai, asa Adonai et ha-Shamayim v'et Veshamru Vene Israel et Hashabat La Sot et Hashabat Le Dorotam Berit Olam Uvayom Hashvi Shabbat Vainafash Shabbat Vainafash Shabbat vayinafash veshamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat la-asot et ha-Shabbat le-dorotam berit olam. Tiku b'chodesh shofar b'kesa le-yom chagenu ki chok l'Yisrael hu Mishpat Lelohei Yaakov. Sound the shofar on the new moon at the time appointed on our new year. Its observance is a law for Israel ordained by the God of Jacob. Vikadash Meirabah Be'omad Ivrachutei V'yamlich Malchutei Chayechon Yom Echon V'chayei Nechol Beit Yisrael Magala Wizman Kariv Imru Amen Yehesh Meirabah Mevorach Le'olam Le'ol Me'ol Ma'ya Yitbarach, Yitbarach, Yishtabach, Yitbar, Yitrubam, Yitnaseh, Yitadar, Yitalev, Yitalal, Shmei Rekudusha, Brichu, Le'ela, Le'ela, Mikol Birchata, Bishirata, 
My dear friends, Rabbi Ron and I thought that it would be fun not to just do a straightforward one single sermon during uh, all of our services, but at times to exchange ideas and to share thoughts together uh, for a more dynamic and um, uh, connected approach to this holiday. So I'm going to begin this time. And what I wanted to reflect with you upon is the subject of tikva. That is the subject of hope. Judaism is an incredibly optimistic religion and tradition. Um, one could teach a college length course giving examples. If nothing else, just our holidays, and there's that old Jewish joke that, you know, every, ho every Jewish holiday other than Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur is, you know, they were out to get us, we survived, let's eat. But there is a kind of through line in all of those holidays, whether the antagonist is Antiochus from Hanukkah or Haman at Purim or the Pharaoh at Passover, um, or in our times, maybe the antagonist is, is this pandemic. Uh, we know that tomorrow is always going to be a better day. Uh, we always know that we're going to uh, prevail. Um, it comes up in the famous words of Anima Amin, that I believe in, in perfect faith that things are going to be better tomorrow. The decision that uh, the early Zionists made to name our national anthem of the Jewish people and of Israel, Hatikva, meaning the hope. We always look ahead to a brighter tomorrow. And, and I've always felt that Judaism requires less a leap of faith, which many other traditions do require if you want to call yourself of that faith. I've always felt that Judaism wants less a leap of faith from you and wants more than anything, a leap of the imagination. And by a leap of the imagination, I mean not accepting that the way that things are right now is good enough or is going to be how it is forever, but rather to imagine how you want the world to be, the way you want your life to be, the way that you want things to be for those you love and care about. And then we make that world happen together. Yasha Koff, I, I had a two thoughts, well, actually one, one main theme. A few weeks back, we observed the unabashedly sad day of Tisha B'Av. And back in the spring, we observed Yom HaShoah, again, unabashedly sad. And yet, at Tisha B'Av, when we finish up the reading of Echa, what, what's the last phrase? Kadesh Yemenu Kekedem, that we want to be renewed as in days of old. When I did March of the Living, Rabbi, you hit it right on the head. We, uh, Hatikva, we finish with singing Hatikva at Auschwitz, and at the Kotel. So there is this overwhelming, pervading sense that it can be better, it will be better, and we're going to make it better. I, I totally agree with you. I have, I have no um, discouraging words to add. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. And you know, I'm holding up the shofar on purpose. I love the shofar. Um, and the shofar itself is a symbol of hope. Uh, as has been pointed out, the sound that goes into the shofar is, is, a, is a kind of ugly sound. I'm going to imitate it um, for you for posterity forever. To, you blow in like this, you go, okay, that's not a nice sound, right? But right. that strange sound, which gets pressed into the small side of the shofar, comes out with a beautiful uh, piercing melody, as it were. And uh, maybe piercing is the wrong word, but let's say powerful uh, musical note. And it's also been uh, pointed out that the shofar itself, especially the way that it curls, is a, is a symbol of the transformation of the human soul. Because after all, Rosh Hashanah is not just the birthday of creation. It's not just the new year. 
it's also the first day of Yamim Hanoraim, the 10 days of awe, which begins on Rosh Hashanah and culminates 10 days later on Yom Kippur. And even though today is such a joyful day, we're supposed to begin the process of self-reflection with the idea that self-reflection leads to growth and transformation, that as good as we are, we can always be better. And it's with that optimism and hope uh, about ourselves as human beings and our, and our capacity as human beings and about the world and everything around us that we take with us into this new year. You know, there have been times that I've, I've heard from our own residents here at the Jewish Home, I've heard people say, you know, I did this terrible thing when I was 22 and I can't forgive myself. I did something when I was in my 40s and I can't forgive myself. You know, our tradition does not look at, at life that way. Our tradition says, look at the past, be honest about, you know, things that you need to change. Say sorry if you can and if you haven't had an opportunity and then move on to betterness and greatness and goodness. Every day is a new day. And according to our tradition, every morning when you wake up, your soul is renewed and you have a fresh start in the eyes of the Jewish people and of God. Yashar Koch. Thank you, Yashar Koch. To you, Rabbi Ron, I love uh, learning and teaching with you. Um, what we're going to do now is uh, it's the evening, so we don't chant the Amidah out loud. Um, but we felt that it was important to have some time for silent prayer and reflection. So we're going to take a moment now for silent meditation and reflection, either of the themes of the Amidah, such as our ancestors, uh, holiness, uh, peace, worship, anything, or maybe just reflect on yourself and on Rosh Hashanah's past, however you want to use this time. We're going to show an image uh, for about a minute, and that will be followed by the singing of Iyu Leratzon and Ose Shalom by none other than my own daughter, Shoshi Bender Bernstein. Yay. So let us take a moment now for private reflection and meditation. Shalom, be Romav, who ya say shalom, Aleinu, they all call you 
Yisrael, Vimeru, Imru, Amen. Oh, Yase Shalom, Yase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, Ve'elko Yisrael, 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 Yase Shalom, Yase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, Ve'el Kol Yisrael. Thank you, Shoshi. Now we turn our attention to the Kiddush. We lit the candles earlier in the service, and now it's time to make the blessing over the wine and grape juice, which all of you will be receiving soon at dinner time. The wine or grape juice sanctifies the day. It makes the day holy. We make the day holy by acknowledging it, but the Kiddush is a symbol of that, and our wonderful cantor will lead us in the blessing now. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei peri agafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher bachar banu mikolam, Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Batitain lanu Adonai, Eloheinu beahava, Et yom hashabat hazeh, Ve'et yom hazikaron hazeh, yom zikron truah, ve'ava mikra kodesh, zecher litziat mitzrayim. Kibanu v'charta, ve'otanu kidashta mikol ho'amim. Uparcha emet v'kayam la'ad, baruch ata Adonai, melech al kol ha'aretz, mekadesh ha'shabat b'Yisrael, ve'yom hazikaron. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shechianu Bekimanu Behigianu Vazman Hazeh Ah 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 Amen L'chaim. 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 My turn to do a little bit of uh, a teaching and a little bit of uh, learning together. My, my theme is gratitude. Gratitude is a word we, we hear used a lot. And by using it too much, I think we reduce its value. Many people I talk to assert to me that Thankfulness and gratitude are one and the same, but I don't believe that they are. Here's my example. I say to my wife at the dinner table, Judy, could you please pass me the salad? She hands it to me and I say, thank you. That's a transaction. I made a request. She performed the act. I expressed thanks. It's a transaction. It begins and it ends. But gratitude is an attitude. It's a way of life. To live in gratitude is to value and appreciate the world around us and what it's done for us. Our sages knew how hard it is to live like that. Example would be when I'm hungry, when I'm really, really hungry, I sit down at the table, it's really easy to be grateful for the food I'm about to eat. The hunger I feel drives me to, to see how wonderful the, the food looks, how marvelous it smells, and how wonderful it's going to taste. And blessings before eating are rather, relatively short. One line. You know, it's short. But after I eat, when I'm full and my hunger is satisfied, it's a lot harder to express appreciation and gratitude on a full stomach. When you're sated, it's harder to be grateful. So in our tradition, the Birchat Hamazon, the blessing for food, is recited after eating, after we're satisfied. It's so much longer. There's so much more verbiage to it. 
It offers thanks for food, for Eretz Yisrael, for Ir HaKodesh, for Adonai's goodness to us on earth. We on a full stomach take the time to express our gratitude to God for all that has been done. And there are times, I have to be candid, it's really hard to find what for what we are grateful for. In my days of working at Beit Shuva, the Jewish Faith-Based Addiction Recovery Center, and working with the addicts in recovery there, how much complaining there was on a daily basis, how person after person complained about their life being torn and being in tattered. And one of the senior counselors would, would stand up and say, I am not hearing the gratitude. And I would wonder to myself, gratitude for what? In reply to a statement, the addicts in recovery would begin to say things like, I am grateful I am not living on the street. I am grateful for breakfast this morning. I'm grateful my parents are speaking to me again. The challenge for them was to dig deeper, to push through what was sad, what was troubling, and what was painful, and see and find what in their lives was good, what there was to value, what there was to be appreciative of. And even when things were very bad, and let's be honest, being in recovery from addiction is neither fun nor easy, there were tangible things to offer gratitude for. In our current day, in our current situation, I'm really hard pressed to make the case that the year 2020 has been a wonderful year. It has been filled with challenges to the very fabric of our nation and our way of life. It would be impossible to overstate the effect and influence this plague of, of COVID has had on us all. I do challenge myself and all of us to look within that harsh reality and find those nuggets, those nuggets of gratitude that do exist, those things that we can find to be grateful for. For me, seeing the hovering of hummingbirds in the gardens here on campus, the smiles when I see our community, the residents and staff each morning, and yes, I live in gratitude that chocolate continues to taste amazing. I'm grateful for all those things and so much more. Even within a plague, the good, the positive, they do exist if we take the time and effort to find them, to be alert to them, to value them. That's our challenge this year. Yasher Koch, Rabbi Ron, um, I couldn't agree more. And, and I, I so appreciate the honesty with which we're talking about the challenges of our day. And when we think back on, on not only Jewish history, but on human history, as has been pointed out by some of our own residents and some of our residents who are Holocaust survivors who have said, you know, this is nothing compared to what I went through. I mean, I've literally heard people say that. And um, I, I even uh, heard one, one Holocaust survivor say, you know, people are complaining that they feel like they're in prison. And uh, she said, you're not in prison. I've actually been in prison. It's the opposite. There are people here trying to make sure that you're protected and safe. And so how do you turn those feelings into feelings of gratitude? And our ancestors had a lot of challenges. And yet they said that the first thing you should say when you wake up in the morning is modani or modani. Isn't that fascinating? Um, because when I wake up in the morning, sometimes I want to just say, oi. Right. Sometimes the first thought or something hurts, you know, yeah. and I, I'm sure a lot of our residents feel that way. And, and you know what? It's a coincidence that oi and joy sound alike in, in English. Um, well, oi being Yiddish, of course. But what do we do when we're feeling oi, but we want to feel joy and gratitude? And the rabbi said, you know, fake it till you make it, as it were. In other words, if you say thank you, if you think about what you should be grateful for, um, then the, the thoughts change. Uh, into positive thoughts. And I also um, want to take this opportunity to point out that five days after Yom Kippur every year, there is the holiday of Sukkot. And the central theme of Sukkot, of course, is gratitude. Um, so the rabbis wouldn't have, it's sort of like you wouldn't have a sign that says that the speed limit is 55 if you were confident that people were driving the right speed, right? right? You wouldn't have holidays and rituals that ask people to express and find gratitude if it was easy. Um, it's a challenge and it's, it's, it's kind of a discipline 
and, and yet we invite ourselves to do it. And, and I appreciate you, Rabbi Ron, in inviting all of us and reminding us what are what are we grateful for. One other thing I want to say about this, there, there's a scholar at University of Pennsylvania who has discovered the power of positive thinking and has researched it. And as a psychologist, he would give his patients um, a homework assignment. And the homework assignment was to take a moment and think about someone who did really good things for them in their life that they never had a chance to satisfactorily thank. And to write a 350 word letter to that person, drive to their house and read the letter of gratitude to them. And what he found was that these patients were able to lift themselves out of depression just from saying thank you in that deep way one time. So we can take some version of that. Thank each other, thank God, thank the people who help us. I wanna thank our incredible staff mm -hmm. for everything that they do mm -hmm. for all of us and all of our residents. So um, I want you to have the last word, Rabbi Ron, but I was so excited by your message. I wanted to respond a little bit. I really have nothing to add because I think the the overarching theme I would I would put out there is look a little deeper, look a little deeper. The the on the surface maybe it's it's not what we'd like it to be, but even on that surface, there's an awful lot that we can be grateful for if we if we just take the time to value it and appreciate it and notice it. Yeah, and and, and Rabbi Ron, you're grateful for. Um... Uh, for ice cream, and I'm grateful for round challah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> round, fluffy food is the best. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Our service continues with the Aleinu. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hakol l'teikudu l'yotzer breishit Shelo asanu ki goye haratzot, velo samanu ki mishpechot adama, shelo sam chelkeinu kahem, vigor aleinu ki chol hamonam, va anachnu korim, u mishtachavim, u modim, lifne melech malche hamlachim, akadosh baruchu. Shehu no te shamai me o se aret, u mo shabi karo ba shamai mi mal, u shina tu zo, u shina tu zo, pigove me romi, u eloheinu enod, emet malkeinu efesulato, kakatu betorato. Yadata yom behashevota eleva vecha ki adonai hu ha Elohim bashamayim imal vealharetz vealharetz mitachat enod enod Mar vehaya Adonai lemelech al kol haaretz bayom haahu bayom haahu ye Adonai echad ushemo 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 echad. My friends, we turn now to the Mourner's Kaddish. <clears throat> and I'd like to ask you to join along if you know it, or you can say amen if you prefer. And at this time, we of course recall all those of our loved ones whose yard sites come at this time of year. Um, on Yom Kippur next week, we'll have a complete Yisker service where we will remember everyone that we love who have passed, especially our parents. Um, but today, feel free, you know, especially in the holidays, we think of everyone who we used to celebrate with, who we miss, even grandparents who were perhaps there for us when we were children, parents, siblings, um, husbands and wives, those who are with us in our hearts, whose lives we call to mind while we make the mourners prayer. Feel free to join me. Yit gadal ve'yit kadash shemei rabah. Be'alma divra chirute ve'amlich malchute. 
בחייכון וביומכון ובחיי דכל בית ישראל, בעגלה ובזמן קריב, ואמרו אמן. יהי שמי רבה מבורך לעולם ולעולמי עלמיה. יתברך וישתבח, ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא, ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל, שמי דקודשה, בריחו. לעילה, לעילה, מכל ברכתה ושירתה. תושבחתה ונחמתה, דאמירן בעלמה, ואמרו אמן. יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיא, וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומיו. הוא יעשה שלום. עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו אמן. Amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved. And we say together, Amen. Amen. There's a special psalm that we say at this time of year. It is Psalm 27. And Rabbi Ron and I will read it together. Adonai is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? Adonai is the strength of my life. Whom shall I dread? Should an army be arrayed against me, I would not fear. Should war beset me, still I would be confident. One thing I ask of Adonai, for this do I yearn, that I may dwell in the house of Adonai all of my life, to feel the goodness of Adonai in God's sanctuary. On the day of trouble, God will shield me, lifting me to safety, my head will be high above my foes. In God's tabernacle, I will bring offerings of jubilation with chanting and joyous singing. Adonai, hear my voice when I call. Be gracious to me and answer me. Adonai, I truly seek you. Do not hide yourself from me. Turn not in anger from your servant. You have always been my help. Do not forsake me, O God, my deliverer. Teach me your way, Adonai. Lead me on a straight path. Deliver me not to the will of my enemies. Trust in Adonai and be strong. Take courage and hope in Adonai. Amen. Amen. Before we conclude our service uh, with Yigdal, of course, this wouldn't be a Jewish prayer service without announcements. <laughs> so uh, first of all, I really want to thank Rabbi Ron uh, for his beautiful teaching and leading of the service, and Benzi for your beautiful, beautiful singing. Thank you both so very much. I want to thank all of you for being with us on this holiday and announce that tomorrow morning Rosh Hashanah services will take place at 10 o'clock in the morning. That should give everyone plenty of time to eat breakfast and get ready. So we hope you'll join us uh, at 10 o'clock in the morning. The next day on Sunday for second day of Rosh Hashanah, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We have invited Cindy Paley, a fantastic Jewish musician, who's also an educator, to do a sort of musically based celebration of Rosh Hashanah. It will not be a traditional service, it will be more of a Jewish musical uh, prayer-based celebration. I think you'll love it, and it will be uh, a variation from uh, the more traditional service that we will uh, lead for you tomorrow morning. So thank you again for being with us. And I also want to thank um, uh, our, our technical assistant, uh, colleague, and friend, really leader, um, and that is John Lynn, who has helped us so much, more than you can Absolutely. imagine, um, to put all of these high holidays together. And we're so grateful uh, to you, John. I know you're behind the scenes, but you're, you're in the forefront of our hearts with uh, gratitude. So we're going now to conclude our service with the chanting of Yigdal. Benzi, will you lead us? Yigdal Elohim Chai V'yishtabach Nimtza V'enet El Metziuto Echad V'en Yachid V'yichudo Nelam V'gam En Sof 
ואחדותו. אין לו דמות הגוף, ואין לו גוף, לא נערוך אליו קדושתו. קדמון לכל דבר אשר נברא, ראשון ואין ראשית לראשיתו. הינו אדון עולם לכל נוצר, יורד גדולתו ומלכותו. שפע נבואתו נתנו אל אנשי סגולתו ותפארתו. לא קם בישראל כמו שעוד נביא ומעביד את אמונתו. תורת אמת נתן לעמו אל על יד נביאו נאמן ביתו. יחל יפעל ולא ימיר דעתו לעולמים לזולתו. צופה ויודע שתראינו מביט לסוף דבר בקדמתו. גומר לאיש חסד כמי פעלו, נותן לרש שרע כרישתו, ישלח לקץ ימין משיחנו, לפדות מחכה קץ ישועתו. מתים יחייל ברוך חסדו. ברוך הדעת שם תהילתו, מתים יחייל ברוך חסדו, ברוך הדעת שם תהילתו. שבת שלום, שנה טובה, everybody. שבת שלום ושנה טובה to everyone. Shabbat Shalom and Shana Tova. We'll see you tomorrow. sing together and the distance will just disappear and the children will smile in a world that's gotten better so let's bring in a healthy new year wait and see wait and see what a world there can be and we know that there's always
Shut up.